My name is Sabrina Osma and I welcome you. It's going to be an amazing time I have with me. I'm Olushaya Oradele and I'm welcoming you to the day two. We are going to be letting out some beautiful facts about our father, that enigma that is Pastor Iye Adeboe. All right, so starting up this beautiful program this afternoon of the day two people into Pastor Iye's life is the youth pastor, a provincial pastor of youth province seven, person of Pastor Jacob Obaro. Let's pray. We'll be right back. You are welcome to this time when we want to appreciate God for the life of our beloved Father and the Lord, Pastor E.A. Adeboye, as he celebrates his 80th birthday. We want to praise God and appreciate God for a wonderful life. I want us to lift our voice and begin to thank God for the gift of life that God has kept him alive. The Bible says, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. I want us to bless God for the life of our father and the Lord, Pastor E. Adeboye. Let's thank God for his wife. Thank God for Mommy Gio. Let's thank God for all his biological children. Let's appreciate God for all the spiritual children. Let's thank God for RCCG. Let's give God praise for the life of this great man of God. Father, we thank you. We appreciate you for our father. We thank you for keeping him alive to celebrate 80. Jehovah, we say thank you. We give you praise. We give give you glory. Brethren, lift your voice and let's celebrate God in the life of this great man of God. Father, we thank you. My Father, we appreciate you. We give you all the glory. We give you all the praise. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be adored. You are worthy to be lifted up. Thank you, Jehovah. Thank you, Jehovah. As we continue to appreciate God for our Father and the Lord, we are going to be celebrating God and thanking him for our Father, Pastor E.A. Adeboye. So looking at the A in Adeboye, we want to thank God for amazing grace. Amazing grace that saved him, that God brought him out of darkness. God saved his soul. Let us thank God for the salvation of our Father and the Lord. Today is the blessing to all, everyone across the nations of the world because the Lord saved his soul. Let's thank God for amazing grace of God upon his life. Ephesians 2, 8 and 9, the Bible says... We are saved by grace. Let's thank God for the grace of God that is evident. Grace of God that is visible in the life of our Father and the Lord is an embodiment of God's grace. Let's appreciate God for grace. Lord, we thank you for amazing grace. The grace has been amazing in the life of our Father and the Lord. God has showered his grace upon his life. We can all see the grace. We can testify to the grace. So let's appreciate our maker for the grace of God, the amazing grace of God upon the life of our Father and the Lord. Lord, we thank you for your amazing grace. Thank you for your amazing grace that saved his soul. Thank you for your amazing grace that is visible that we can all see. We give you glory. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. The D in Adeboye speaks of the divine choice. The divine choice. The Bible says many are called but few are chosen. That God chose him himself. God picked him out of the crowd. Let's thank God for divine choice. Is the choice of God. God called him and is backing him up. Let's thank God. We can see the evidence of the call in the miracles, signs, and wonders that we see all over the world in the Holy Ghost services, the convention, the congresses, all the programs. Let's appreciate God for divine choice that God called him and God chose him from the crowd. Let's appreciate God. He had his own agenda, but in the mercy of God, the Lord chose him, chose him for a great assignment that we are all beneficial of. So let's appreciate God for the divine choice of God in the person of our Father and the Lord, Pastor Ia Deboe. Father, we thank you. Thank you for calling your son. Thank you for choosing him. Thank you for divine choice. We appreciate you. We magnify you. We exalt you. We lift you high. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Lord, thank you. Thank you. The E in Adeboe speaks of the everlasting arms of God. The 
everlasting arms of God that has been carrying him over the years. The Bible says in Deuteronomy 33 verse 27 that underneath are the everlasting arms. Isaiah 46 verse 4. The Bible says I will carry you. I will carry you from birth to your gray hair, to your old age. God has been carrying him from the day he was conceived in his mother's womb. The Lord carried him the first 10 years of his life, the next 20 years, the 30, 30 years of his life, 40 years, 15. Today we are celebrating 18. Let's give God praise. Let's appreciate God for Father and the Lord. God has carried him. The Lord has carried him all through the years, through thick and thin. The Lord has been carrying him. Father, we thank you. Thank you because you have carried your son over the years. In the past 80 years, it has been you. If man carried him, they would have been tired. Any man that would have carried him would have been, but you have carried him for 80 years and you are still carrying him. Lord, we say thank you. My father, we say thank you. Lord, we say thank you. The strength of Israel, we say thank you. Thank you for carrying your son. We give you praise. Brethren, appreciate God. Let's thank God for these everlasting hands that has carried him over the years. Lord, we give you praise. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. The bee in Adeboye speaks about the blessings of God upon his life. The blessings of God. Ephesians 1 verse 3. The Bible says, blessed be the Lord God who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings. Look at the life of our Father and the Lord. God has so much blessed him. God has so endowed him with spiritual blessing, material blessing, physical blessing. Let's appreciate God. Lord, we thank you for your blessing. Oh, we thank you. You did not just save him we are not just celebrating the amazing grace today we are celebrating the divine choice the divine call and lord we thank you for your everlasting arms and we are thanking you for your blessing thank you for your blessing thank you for your blessing upon the life of our father and the lord brethren let's appreciate this god we thank you for your blessing amazing blessing marvelous blessing in the life of our father thank you for spiritual blessing that his spirit is in tune with you we thank you thank you for blessing his father Family. Thank you for blessing our CCG. Thank you for making him a blessing in our generation. We give you praise, Lord. Thank you for your blessing. Thank you for your blessing in the life of our Father and the Lord. We give you praise. Thank you. Thank you for your blessing. It is amazing. We appreciate you. Thank you for spiritual blessings. Thank you for physical blessings, sound health. Thank you for material blessings. We appreciate you. We appreciate you. You have not just blessed him, you have made him a blessing in our generation. We give you praise. We give you praise. If the life of that the Jew has blessed you, I'd like you to lift your voice and say, Father, thank you. Thank you for making him a blessing. Thank you for making him a blessing. You said to Abraham, I will bless you and you will be a blessing. Father, you have blessed our own father and you have made him a blessing. We have come to say thank you. We have come to say thank you. Be exalted, be magnified in the name of Jesus. Brethren, I want us to thank God for the all, the open heavens. Open heavens over the love of our Father. The heavens have been open. There has been access. There has been access. The heavens over him has been open. The heavens have never been blocked. Each time he prays, God answers his prayer because the heavens are open. I'd like you to thank God and say, Lord, thank you for open heavens over the love of our Father, Pastor E.A. Adeboye. Thank you for open heavens. Lord, thank you for open heavens. Thank you for open heavens. The heavens has never been shot over his life. We have come to say thank you. We have come to appreciate you. Brethren, let's give God praise. Let's magnify God in the love of Father and the Lord that God has opened the heavens over his life. Thank you for open heavens over Mommy Gio. Thank you for open heavens over the entire family. Thank you for open heavens over RCCG. We want to say thank you. We have come to say thank you as we celebrate 18. In the love of Father and the Lord, we thank you for the heavens that has been opened. Thank you for open heavens. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. Don't forget to appreciate God for the open heavens devotional. It's part of the open heavens. Every day it is enriching. It is inspiring. Every day we, we, we check the open heavens. We are blessed. 
By the ministry of our Father and the Lord, let's thank God for open heavens devotional. Let's thank God because truly the heavens have always been open. We give you praise for open heavens in the love of our Father and the Lord. We appreciate you, Lord. We magnify you. We exalt you. Thank you, Jehovah. Thank you, Jehovah. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' name, we are praying. We are going to thank God once again for the why. In Adeboye, the why speaks about the yieldedness. The yieldedness. That God gave him grace to, to surrender. To surrender his own vision. To surrender his ambition for the vision of God. For the assignment of God. He's, he said in Galatians 2 verse 20. He said, I'm crucified. Nevertheless, I live, but not I. But I live after I pattern my life after the Son of God. Let us thank God for the grace to yield. Let's thank God for the grace to surrender. The why in Adebo, it talks about yieldedness. Now let's thank God for our Father and the Lord that he yielded himself. He surrendered himself to be used of God. He has surrendered his life. He has surrendered himself. Let's thank God and appreciate God for a life, a sacrificial life. A life lived after God. Patterned after the things of God. Let's appreciate God. Father, we thank you. Lord, we thank you for our Father and the Lord as he's celebrating his 80. We thank you for the grace to humble himself, the grace to surrender. Surrender his ambition. Surrender it all to the divine call. We appreciate you. Thank you for the grace to yield. Thank you for the grace to yield. Thank you for the grace to surrender all. Thank you for the grace to yield. We give you praise. We appreciate you. Blessed be your name forever. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. We have praised God, the A in Adeboye, for his amazing grace. We have praised God, the D, the divine choice, the divine call. The E, we have looked at the everlasting arms of God that has carried our Father. The B, we have looked at the blessings, the blessedness of God in his life. The O, we have looked at the open heavens. And the Y, we have looked at the yieldedness that God has given him grace to yield himself. And finally, the E in Adeboye talks about extraordinary strength the bible says young men will faint at 80 that is this standing strong is standing erect at 80 that is the strength of god the strength of god has never failed in his life lift your voice to him again and say lord thank you for strength <laughs> starting with physical strength is physically fit god has kept him strong at 80 is looking 50 because of the strength of god father we thank you like the testimony of moses in deuteronomy 34 the bible says at 120 moses was was still strong his eyes were not dim his natural force were not abated uh, that is the testimony of our father and the lord that at 80 is still standing strong is still moving around is still preaching all over the world father we thank you for strength we thank you for strength today is not bedridden today is not lying on the hospital bed we thank you for strength upon daddy Gio. thank you for strength upon mommy thank you for strength the extraordinary strength you have given to your son we have come to say thank you that as 80 is still bouncing like football all over the place we want to say thank you thank you for your strength thank you for your strength thank you for your strength the bible says those that wait upon you in isaiah 40 verse 31 they will renew their strength we thank you that on daily basis you renew his strength we have come to say thank you we thank you specially for your strength upon our father in the lord daddy we say thank you thank you father for this extra ordinary strength we give you praise we magnify you we exalt you we give you all the glory if we have a thousand tongues it will not be enough to praise you you have done much more than we have thanked you for today but within the short time we have we want to say thank you if we have a thousand tongues it will not be enough to praise you for the great and mighty things you have done in the past 80 years in the love of our beloved father and the lord we have come to say thank you father we say thank you father we say thank you somebody lift your voice again and say thank you lord we thank you thank you for daddy june thank you for mommy Geo, thank you for all their biological children. Thank you for their spiritual children. Thank you for RCCG. Lord, we thank you. Thank you for making them a blessing. A blessing 
all over the world we give you praise we magnify you lord thank you jehovah glory be to your name honor to your name adoration to your name we magnify you eternal father glory be to your name forever in jesus name we are praying our eternal father we want to say thank you we want to say thank you we want to say thank you the bible says the living only the living will praise you Today we are thanking you for the gift of life. Lamentations 3.22 says, It is by your mercy that our father has not been consumed. You have kept him. You have shown him mercy. We thank you. Thank you for amazing grace. Thank you for amazing grace. Thank you for the divine choice. The divine calling upon his life. We thank you for your everlasting arms that has been carrying him over the years. We thank you for your blessing. Thank you for blessing him and making him a blessing. Father, we thank you for open heavens. Thank you for the grace to yield himself. And thank you for extraordinary strength. We give you praise. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. We promise you, Lord, by the time he's celebrating 90, our thanksgiving will be more than this. When he's celebrating 100, our thanksgiving will be more than this. You will continually keep him. You will continually uphold him. And Father, we promise that we will forever praise you. Thank you, eternal Father. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. I'd like to join the whole world to celebrate our beloved Father and the Lord for this great 80th birthday celebration. We celebrate you, Daddy. We pray that the Lord will keep you. You will celebrate many, many more years in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you. God bless everyone that connected. The Lord bless you. Thank you. I'd like to use this medium to celebrate the ministry of Pastor Jacob of Barrow. Coincidentally, he's Sabrina's pastor. <laughs> So she's been here just thanking God over the life of our pastor. And some of the things that got to me from that prayer session were those acronyms. Did you hear the one that he talked about? Everlasting arm. I'm sure you've been in situations where God's hands have reached out to you and pulled you out of tough situations. I also like the part that when he talked about open heavens. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you know open heavens devotional is one of the innovations by our past father, Pastor E. Adeboye. And it has blessed millions of lives globally. Did you read your open heavens today? Uh -huh, did you? <laughs> <laughs>